Hello and welcome to another BladeLogic server automation video. In this video I'm going to show you how to configure the RSCD agent to run over a different port than the default port 4750. Many times companies want to change this port for security reasons or simply because of networking standard requirements. The agent transport and security configuration is managed by a plain text file called secure. This file is stored e slash rsc on Unix and Linux servers and in the Windows backslash rsc directory on Windows server. Let's take a look at that file. The secure file specifies the communication protocols and the port over which this communication is happening. By default, this file has two entries, the rscd entry, which defines the inbound traffic, and the default entry, which defines the outbound communication. As you can see, both entries are configured to use the default port 4750. We are going to add a new entry to this file for our server called Linux, which will be communicating over port 1234. To do this, we use a command line tool called secadmin. You can read all about how to use this utility in the BladeLogic manuals or the secadmin man pages. To add the server, we simply type secadmin-a for add and the server name of the server we are going to add. Minus R for the port the agent needs to respond to, in our case port 1234. The protocol we are going to use, we use the default protocol 5, and we will use TLS, which is a standard used in BladeLogic. So we've headed our new server. Let's have a look at the secure file again. As you can see, the entry is there, and the port is configured for port 1234 instead of 4750. Because we are changing the configuration of the app server, we need to restart the app server and the agent for the changes to take effect. This will take a while and let's wait for this to finish. I usually take a peek at the app server log to see when the app server is up and running again, ready to take requests. Now, first let's double check that the server we are going to add doesn't already have an agent installed. No, it hasn't. So now we can enroll the server in BladeLogic and deploy the agent using the unified agent installer. I'll have to re-authenticate again since restarting the app server broke the connection between the GUI and the app server. As you can see, we only have one server in our environment, and I'm going to enroll our new Linux server. I'm telling BladeLogic now to deploy an agent to that server in case there's no agent installed, and off we go. While this is running, let's look at the agent configuration file I'm deploying together with the agent software. As you can see, also here I configured the communication port to be port 1234 instead of 4750. Now let's wait for the enrollment and the agent install to finish. Now that this is complete, we can see on our target that an agent is installed and the agent is listening on port 1234. We can do a refresh to see the new server in BladeLogic and verify the server for correct enrollment. All seems to be ok, so we should be able to live browse the server and see and manage all configuration objects for the server. I hope you liked this video. For more BladeLogic related video, check the BMC Communities website and the BMC Communities channel on YouTube. Thanks for watching.